Hi BDs! So today I'll be doing this look right here where I'm mostly using the Sugar Pill Edward Scissorhands palette which looks like this. It's a limited edition palette that they launched last month and it did sell out within the first couple of days but it will be back in stock so I'll link down below to where you can sign up to get an email once this is back. And if you want to get it, definitely get it right away because Sugar Pill stuff tend to sell out quite quickly. So as always, Sugar Pill has the most amazing and cute packaging it's inspired by Edward Scissorhands of course and I love that movie too and on the inside it has six shadows that looks like this the shadows have the usual fantastic sugar pill quality they're very pigmented they blended out beautifully in the crease they were very easy to apply the only shadow that I don't think is super pigmented is this one right here uh, I don't know if it's because it's the same shade as my skin tone so it didn't really show up but it might show up on you my absolute favorite shadow in the palette is this blue one right here it's a very unique light blue and I think it's hard to find a light blue that is this pigmented uh, I didn't use it in this look but I used all the other shades and I did use this one in my nightmare before Christmas Sally makeup tutorial which I'll link to down below if you want to see how this looks like on the eye since Sugar Pill came out with their first brown shadows in this palette, I wanted to do more of a everyday wearable look. And the reason why I call this look Pumpkin Spice is because of this limited edition Sugar Pill shadow called Pumpkin Spice. And it looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, this one was sold out right away as well and it's not coming back, but I really wanted to use it in a tutorial and there might be a giveaway on it in this video, so definitely look out for that. And if you want to get a similar shadow to this, I would recommend the Makeup Geek Foil Shadow in Flamethrower. It's very, very similar. The only difference is that this one has more golden reflex, while the Makeup Geek one is more of a reddish bronze. So yeah, I hope you're excited for the tutorial and let's get started. I'm first applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing and also make them stay on all day. Onto my brow bone, I'm going to apply the Walk of Shame eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This will even out my skin tone and also make it easier to blend out shadows in the crease. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to use from the Edward Scissorhands palette is this one called Heart Shaped Cookie. And I'm using that as a transition shade in the crease. To warm up the crease, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous orange shadow called Suburbia. I'm applying a little bit of the shadow at a time and just building up the color. To deepen up the crease, I'll be applying this dark brown called Costal on the Hill and there's some super cute Edward Scissorhands inspired names in this palette. To really make the blending process a lot easier, I'm also here applying just a little bit of the product at a time and just building it up until I get the intensity that I want. The next shadow that I'll be using from the palette is the Inventor, which is a very unique shimmery black with kind of a hint of blue to it. I'm just smudging that along my lower lash line. Since the shadow on the lower lash line is quite dark, I decided to go in with a black shadow in the crease just to deepen it up some more. And I'm going to use the Sugar Pill shadow in Bulletproof. Here I'm doing a final blend of the crease colors. Now it's time for the absolutely stunning pumpkin spice eyeshadow. I'm placing that onto my entire lid. Then I'm packing on some more with my finger. Then to intensify that color even more and make it look super sparkly, I'm going to go on top with this Penelope pigment, also by Sugar Pill. And I'm so in love with this combo, I think it looks amazing and I'm definitely gonna use this during the holidays. For my inner corner highlight, I'll be using this shimmery bluish white shadow called Ice Angel. And as you can see, this makes the inner corner really intense and beautiful. To do a bold winged out liner, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper.
To fill in my waterline, I'll be using the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. I'm setting that in place using Bulletproof. And I'm also smudging it out along the lash line. Now I'm applying the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Next, I'll be using the Huda Beauty False Lashes in Audrey. Here you can see the completed eye makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to contour and I'll be using this Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Palette which looks absolutely amazing. The design of this one is incredible and let me just open it so you can see. It has 16 shades. Uh, this top row is kind of contour shades, then you have blushes and then bronzers. And I used these two lightest shades today to set my under eye concealer and it worked great for that. To contour, I'm going to use this shade right here and I found that with these contour shades you have to be very careful because they're super pigmented and it's easy to get a harsh line. So what I do is I dip my brush very carefully into the pan, then onto my hand so that I can get off the excess powder and then I go in with it to just make it look blended and not so harsh. So I thought I'd just show you. I go very carefully into the pan like that uh, and then I apply the excess onto the back of my hand. So as you can see it looks like there's nothing on the brush but when you apply it you can really see that it does contour. Then for bronzer, I'll be using this lightest bronzing shade. For blush, I'll be mixing these two shades in the middle. To highlight, I'll be going in with the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. Over to lips, I'm first going to line them using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil in 1993. And then to fill them in, I'll be using this matte lipstick by Urban Decay, also called 1993. So I hope you guys liked the look and that you found the tutorial helpful. I'll list all the products that I've used down below. So now it's time for the Sugar Pill Pumpkin Spice giveaway and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite Sugar Pill shadow is. All the general information about the giveaway will be down in the description bar so definitely check that out before you enter. I wish you the best of luck in the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!